former game design student at the MBH Düsseldorf, wanted to share the fun I had with games by making them myself. The goal of the game is, of course, to um, get out of the way. <laughs> What do you think about this and how would you do that? Yeah. And that's very cool. That's If you appreciate it and have the feeling of uh, having influence on the game itself, If you look the game news over the last year, it's a hard topic, yeah. Game Dev. Good day, Seeker. Welcome to the new episode of Knock Knock Game Dev. Today we have a young game developer and CEO of his own studio, Max Wittig. Enjoy the episode and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Say a few words about yourself and what bring you to the game development and share your experience a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, uh, my name is Max Wittig. I'm 27 years old, um, former game design student at the MBH Düsseldorf, mm -hmm. bachelor's degree. And after that, I found my own indie game studio. And the way I get to that point was like the most of us in the games industry, like. I played games in my childhood, um, started modding, playing around with editors, found a lot of fun in that, and yeah, wanted to share the fun I had with games by making them myself and giving this joy to others. That was my motivation. I want to ask like about your this university experience and you study in media design for food, media design high school. Okay. They teach in English or German? Uh, it's a German. Okay. Uh, so it's a bachelor degree in German language. Yes. Okay. Uh, was it good? Uh, it wasn't bad. Um, it was very um, various, so you're not that specialized in one point. Like um, I, my special task is like 3D artist, mm -hmm. and um, but you learn also 2D art programming, concept art, level design, game design. Like you learn everything a little bit, but mm -hmm. don't specialize on one thing very much. Okay, so so. Did you gain a lot from the professors over there, or you studied more by yourself, or um, how it was? 50-50, so the professors in first give you some kind of a guide what you have to learn, mm -hmm. when, and um, but in the end you have to learn it yourself, you have to like read books, watch tutorials, mm -hmm. and as always train a lot, Just learn by doing. and. Um, But uh, they're they're helping a lot, especially like uh, our three D professor was very was a three D artist from Dubai, mm. and um, he was very helpful. Like stuff you don't see in the tutorials. Okay, so it's it helps a lot in the beginning, but in the end you have to specialize and perfectionize your work by yourself. Yeah, it's like usually, I guess, in any university, yeah. <laughs> basically. So, and internship, you, you did internship? Yeah, okay. uh, so uh, it's like you have to do one semester internship, so yes. six months. Like five months. And you made it in big studio, small studio? Very small studio. I did it at um, Silent Dreams in Mülheim. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very small studio. Their last game was Dead Age. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And um, I liked it a lot because it's a small studio, so you have much free space. Um, you have to talk a lot with. So, like, if they have something to decide, they ask you for your opinion. And not okay. like, just do that. More like, what do you think about this and how would you do that? And that's very cool. That's if you appreciate it and have feeling of uh, having influence on the game itself, so not just doing tasks. So basically, you think like for the internship, it was quite good to have small studio in like in front, then to go, for example, to Ubisoft Blue Byte, and I don't just have to compare. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you just need to bring the coffee over there. <laughs> Who knows? I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, yeah but I, I like that 
it's a family feeling and mm -hmm. the small this is why you not just... being some small wheel in the machine more about being part of something yeah okay so this is why you decide to establish your own studio or how it was uh... um yes not only because um if you look the game news over the last year you mm -hmm. have many bad news like telltale closed and didn't warn his employees and let them on the street one day before oh, okay uh stuff like that or right. Uh, scene project red um, says if you don't like crunch times or unpaid overtimes uh, games games development is too hard for you mm -hmm. stuff like that or try tech employees waiting a half year for their money and that's that's blizzard setting free 600 employees but hiring a new cfo for 15 million and having yeah. record money uh, so yeah that's um, some kind I don't want to face mm -hmm. this fear of being underpaid waiting for my payment or losing my job every possible day for example in the beginning from big studio or small studio to study a bit like uh, gain some experience more and then go your own way or this was like no and I, I will do my own studio. Yeah, that's a decision you have to make. But um, my fear was if I would join a big or small studio, have a job, mm -hmm. have a safe income, that it would be too comfortable and then never leave this comfort zone and just stay there. And maybe I then would never take the step out. I had the chance to make this, to found myself a studio. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I have the lack of experience, but I have the willpower <laughs> and I have the chance, so I just did it. So, okay, but the next question is about is it hard to establish your own studio here in North Rhine Westphalia, or it's like easy, like I, on legal issues, taxes, yeah. etc.? Et I wouldn't say it's just not random with failure, it's more Germany. Yeah. And um, of course, it's hard because uh, I didn't learn how to found and lead my own company. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there is a lot of stuff. I, I, in the beginning, I thought it can't be that hard. And yeah, I um, that was not very wise of me. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Texas. Um, we have many um, stuff you have to pay for, like IHK. Um, it's kind of they have uh, that they are your partner if you have problems with stuff, mm -hmm. but you have to pay them. You have to be a member of this. Mm -hmm. Also, um, the Berufsgenossenschaft is like um, you have to be a member of them, and they set rules for your company. Um, Depending on what industry you're part of, uh, you have to pay G Z. Uh, Z. It's um, it's only German thing. Like mm -hmm. uh, your household yeah. is able to get um, public radio, so you have to ah. pay for that. And as a so company, I, you have to pay I, I, that's this too. Have, yes. Yeah, I know this, and yeah. it's quite expensive. As yeah, and as this company, uh, it depends on how much employees you have stuff like that yeah so many uh, costs you didn't think about before but you rent the office or it's some uh, we had very uh, much luck with our office uh, mm -hmm. we are located at the co-work at Solingen at the moment mm -hmm. and we have some kind of um, sponsorship so they they gave us the office for free mm -hmm. and uh, they are tutoring us so they're Giving, giving us some help, like um, coaching us with business models and stuff like that. So uh, that's a very good thing. So uh, can you describe the your current project you're working on, like this game? I already saw it. It's quite impressive <laughs> right now. 
and but you don't want to share the name yet because as I understood uh, legal issues also yeah, legal yeah. issues because um, it's not safe yet yeah and if you um, release Some, the name yeah. then you can get problems with saving it later yeah but I, I would love to tell you about the game uh, mm -hmm. it's located inside of a whale mm -hmm. and it's a point and click survival adventure so um, you play with point and click controls mm -hmm. have the inventory and the crafting from typical point and click games and but you have also the gameplay mechanics of a survival game like you have to survive food water sleep you have to uh, loot stuff craft build a base and the goal of the game is of course to um, get out of the way <laughs> don't starve game is also point and click and like a survival game and you also inspired by such a game or some different one so we came up with the idea out of just joking around and it was just a freaky idea we had but uh, yeah we, we in time now we had uh, many inspirations um, the art style is inspired by John, uh, Ron Gilbert's The Cave mm -hmm. uh, it's also side view and uh, you say to Don't Starve we mm -hmm. uh, also got some inspired by Don't Starve like uh, we have also different characters with different abilities. Uh -huh. uh, we took some inspiration by um, Binding of Isaac, by uh, FTL, like for the replay value, yeah, okay. and random generation, stuff like that. Good. Uh, yeah, I'm the 3D environment designer uh -huh. right now, and um, game design and game mechanics design, is, um, that's the spirit of what I thought about the little studios thing um, we discussed that in the whole team so it's not like just once writing a game design document and then we are doing it like that it's more like uh, we have a game design document but w when we start working on some point of that on a new point then we mm -hmm. discuss first how we will do it in the detail and how would it fit best the game so it's like a two people team right now right now we're two people but we have two more people involved like uh, we have a freelance 3d character artist oh. and we had our 2d trainee uh -huh. uh, she's doing her bachelor's work right now but um, after her bachelor she's we want her back <laughs> yeah, okay if she wants to so good four people working on the game at the moment two people can you describe a regular day in your company? Like, a, basically, it's everyday work, yeah. as I understood. We agreed on work begins between 8 and 10, mm -hmm. so that you have more your comfortable work time. Like, I'm not the morning people, so I start at 10. Mm -hmm. And um, from, begin, from the moment you enter the office, you have to do the, at least your 8 hours, but you can do 4 hours, make it one hour break and then another four hours or mm -hmm. it's not like it it's not to, strict like, no, no yeah I, it's a lot more about like, sound like the it's a buzzword but uh, work-life balance stuff. Mm -hmm. so you you shall uh, feel comfortable okay good it's many actually company doing this way right now like i also have now work is the same way it's like doesn't matter where you go to lunch break or something like that or you need to go somewhere <laughs> just do your is, work yes the main part is that at the end of the day your work has to be done but mm. how and when is not that important especially we're a small team so it's not so hard to um, talk or meet and um, match the work we're doing uh, if you have a big company i can think about it a bit harder that everyone um, no secure state and stuff like that, but yeah, we have short communication base, so good question. Finance, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> how do you plan to finance your company and project? Like, is it will be Kickstarter or maybe government can help you with such stuff? Or yeah. you search and publisher? It's a hard topic, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's just like if you don't want to talk, no, 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 skip uh, it. 
I think it's important to talk about stuff like that, yeah. especially because it's a topic in the German games politic right now. Hmm. Uh, I didn't know because I'm not involved so much in German politics, like our discussion about it. It's yeah, like I'm following it here. Yeah, for sure. It's like, and stuff like that. It's for you. It's better <laughs> to follow it. <laughs> for me, it's like I hard also because I'm not a German like speaker person, and it's mm-hmm. like news in German media. It's usually in German language, and you like uh, no. <laughs> It's also a point where people in our office are always. Um, Uh, surprised by that we communicate uh, complete in English mm. that's not common in our office context ah so you also communicate in English social media and game design documents yeah. and stuff like that everything in English it's because it's the language of games yeah. industry but you will also like localize it to German and sure. other European languages what well, we're getting off from topic um We talked about financing. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all right. We can. Um, in first place, I finance the prototype mm-hmm. complete by myself. That's what I talked about. I had the chance to do that, um, and yeah. So the initial financing is done by me, mm-hmm. and um, we are looking for funding of any way. We are talking to publishers. We are looking for as, uh, possible investors, public uh, support, uh, so from the state, like. But you didn't think about to go to Kickstarter campaign. We or... thought about that, and I already talked with uh, Michael Liebel, mm-hmm. who's the head of Kickstarter, as far as I know. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, the. What he had to say to our project and the possibilities with Kickstarter weren't that good for us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, Kickstarter is some kind of complicated because um, you can't just say we need the complete money for the project and mm-hmm. um, people fund it because there are bigger studios um, presenting their projects with a very small budget just to look if um, there is a market for the project mm-hmm. and not because they are looking for funding. And then people see like a big million project for a few hundred thousands mm-hmm. and then you come with a very small project and want the same amount of money and then they ask, why do you need so much? And then they need so much less for a very big project. Ah, stuff okay. like that. Also, the people have... Um, problems with believing Kickstarter anymore because there were many black sheep the past years. Yeah, it's a true story actually. There, there are many possibilities. Um, early access and Kickstarter are open. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're thinking about it, but there's also a lot of work going on with that. So yeah, okay. Kickstarter is a full-time job for one person for a month. And person would miss uh, uh, somewhere else yeah, okay uh, but like a, is it like a state also can provide some fi- finance support like in Germany here yeah uh, there are many projects or programs for mm-hmm. state support like like a, this new business opportunity and so on they support it um, we applied twice mm-hmm. and got denied twice <laughs> And um, then there were other programs, like there's one uh, called EXIST. So mm-hmm. if you're funding fresh from university, mm-hmm. our bad luck is that our university doesn't take part at this program. Oh, so okay. it wasn't a possibility for us. And yeah, as I said, we applied for two state sports and got the plan. Can you like uh, say with which... Uh, Publisher, you already talk, or it's. I don't know if they want to. Ah, okay, <laughs> it's it's not a problem. I mean, uh, <clears throat> just. The, 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 I, we have talked to a handful, a little bit more of a handful of publishers, mm-hmm. and um, the feedback most time was cool idea, cool mm-hmm. concept, mm-hmm. but 
not matching our portfolio or we don't see how you want to monetize the game. But like a current state of the game already like 50% finished or how, mm, what do I you would think? I say 20 to 25%. Yeah, so okay. there are many okay. important mechanics left over mm. right now and um, we have two from 10 characters, half of animations is missing, the game group is not completed right now. So there's a lot more to do. I hope you will find some like publisher or finance support to your project. I really wish you well with this stuff because game will promising. At the moment we are um, changing some kind of our business model a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we switch over to B2B. So we want to um, finance ourselves by doing works for companies like Visual Aid. Visual, I hate this word. Visualization oh, okay. and coding or stuff like that. So it's like a freelance to other public, like a big big for, studios for or game some. studios or for other industries. So you want to support your project with such a? Uh, want to finance ourselves by doing yeah this kind of work. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. So. Can you give any advice to game developers or people who want to join the game developer army? <laughs> um, a joking advice would be don't do it because <laughs> it's a hard, hard <laughs> business. Uh, <laughs> learn something where you have future. No. Um, if you want to learn something, if you want to study game design or stuff like that, then you have to ask you first, uh, yourself first. Do you want to specialize on like 3D design, 2D design, programming, or do you want to just learn the, the whole thing? Like, I studied game design, so I learned a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want to be, you're sure you want to be 3D character arts or stuff like that, then you should study something like 3D visualization. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, if you're sure about what you want to do and future then you should choose to study wisely okay and you don't have to study at the very as it you, you, you could you could learn it all by yourself the most of the current game industry are all people who learn something very different mm -hmm. teach it by themselves mm -hmm. and and uh, it was never so easy to teach yourself game development like the complete the engines are for free the mm -hmm. programs are for free the tutorials are there you have asset stores with a lot of free stuff so you could download unreal engine mm -hmm. go on their asset store download all the free assets build an own level mm -hmm. can download they have four pro uh, uh, they finish programs demos you could mm -hmm. use stuff like that and then you could for tutorials for more complex mechanics and but you using Unreal Engine or we work with Unity? Our current project is made in Unreal, but we also work with Unity. So we made a, a smartphone game, a browser mm -hmm. game, stuff okay. like that. In Unity. Yeah, good. Thank you. And Blitz, short question, not necessarily short answer. Mm -hmm. Like, which games do you play right now? Right now? Oh, um, last I played the new Anno. Okay. Um, is it good? <laughs> I have mixed feelings with it. I have problems with the UI. There is a bug, like, um, your clicks aren't accepted every time. Mm. It's very annoying, stuff like that. I guess they fix it. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, the, the NPCs are sometimes a little bit annoying with the audio, mm. but yeah, it's, it's a cool game. It looks nice and it's very relaxing. Which platform you prefer to play? PC. I'm PC. PC player. But um, I also have a PlayStation. I was mm. always a PlayStation child. <laughs> Grow up with it. Um, but to be honest, I prefer the controller of the Xbox. The PlayStation controller is so small and Whimsy yeah. and the Xbox pad is way more comfortable. What do you think about the uh, Epic Game Store? Oh, that's a hot topic. Yeah, um, 
from the perspective of a dev, I very like it, especially because we are developing in Unreal. Mm -hmm. So um, we would get much more share, like um, Steam is taking 30% mm -hmm. of the cost stores and Epic, if you do your game in Unreal and release it on Epic, they are taking 12%, so 18% more mm -hmm. for you. Um, but there, I, I understand the discussion of there are taking some data they shouldn't, mm -hmm. um, and then there are parts where you could discuss like the review system. Um, mm -hmm. I'm from the perspective of the Steam review system shows up that it's not really good working. Like people are review bombing a game because the new game is going to be released on Epic. Yeah. It's... And then stuff like trading cards or personal profile and community stuff. Um, I personally don't need it, but I can, can understand that there are people who like it and want to keep on that. Okay. So it's mixed, yeah. Yeah, mixed. Diverse. <laughs> yes. Best game ever. Demon's Souls. Okay. The free game of Dark Souls. Yeah. yeah. The PlayStation exclusive. And it's PlayStation 3 exclusive? Yes. yes. They didn't make remake. No. Not till now. Not till now. I'm okay. waiting for it. <laughs> okay. Worst game ever. Uh, there are so many. The last game I rage quit after a few hours was uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> Okay. Because uh, I didn't like the characters and I don't know how, but I managed it to uh, switch the quick selection of the heal item to quick selecting smoke bombs. Mm -hmm. And after 50 minutes, I wasn't able to switch it back. So I wasn't able to quick heal. Okay. <laughs> after that, I threw it. <laughs> so if you're facing Gabe Newell, what you will say to him? Don't disagree. <laughs> we have enough trading card games <laughs> and please don't do Half-Life 3 yeah and just can disappoint that's like the, the um, we had with Duke Nukem it was in development so long everyone was so hyped mm -hmm. we had the retro glasses on and they're, they're the one, on the one side people want something new to the game but on the other side, they don't want any changes because that would destroy the retro look of it. So, in my opinion, it won't work. Okay, thanks. <laughs>